Hi guys, you are welcome to Femtech Studio. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to import that character to character creator. Big shout out to my recent subscribers. I love you all. Without further ado, let's get down to this video. Welcome back. To import your character successfully into iClone, you need an extension file. So bear in mind, you need to have installed both Das Studio and Character Creator 3.4. Alright, so I'll show you where to locate the Das uh, resources in the uh, Character Creator folder. So as you can see, from uh, the users down to this and this character creator does resources okay so then you have your a post so we need the file now for more you could see the character we have in the das scene is an uh, origin of genesis 8 may okay so we need the extension file so that in an a post so that the character could be imported successfully into character creator so as you can see just drag and drop it out to the character and the character will be in a a post uh, post then select that button for export or click on file and select export to prepare you for this for exporting the file now make sure you are set to fbx so i will Decide, I decided to change the uh, my uh, the location of where I actually want to save this file. So I will make use of probably save it somewhere cool. Okay, probably document and uh, create a new folder and select uh, okay YouTube YouTube tutorial. So. Now, with this done, all I need to do is just open it and save it here. So, just select a seller, then type in a name that I will use. And so, select save. Now, after saving it, you will see this. So, select on figure, ammunition, logs, morphs, okay. Uh, match clothes just follow this uh, selection okay as you can see on the screen and one more thing I will need to add for this uh, tutorial part one probably add uh, collect to textures folder that means I actually want to collect the textures of the model into a folder and select accept so you will notice now at this level you will notice some things are actually happening okay so give it time uh, for it to load up and for that let me jump down to character creator and create a new uh, page once the file is successfully exported from that studio the next thing to do as you can see the next thing to do is to import it to character creator so locate your transformer button like i said i'm using character 3.4 so select three cc 3 plus then try to locate where you saved your exported file so this is mine then i'll click on it and select open So you give it a few uh, minutes depending on the speed of your system. So from here, what we need to do, like I said, this is part one. I will show you a uh, majority of the mistakes people usually make and how to correct the mistakes. All right. So we have uh, two options, the basic and the advanced method of importing. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to, you can read more about the basic and the advanced method 
on Tata Creator website. But for now, you can follow me to know how to do it. Alright, once you do that, uh, firstly, I'm not going to make use of the uh, the upper parts where you have big body textures. I will just show you uh, those things you need to set in place first. Alright. So from here, you notice you have names, types, skin types. So all you need to do is to look at uh, the dress. The dress is a clothes. Okay, look at the type. So now, character in, on this aspect, character creator actually did it well. Alright, that is it. Uh, name everything correctly. So once that is done, just select OK. Alright, so as you can see, the shoe, the dress shoe is also a shoe. All right, so which is classified as a shoe, and that is okay. Then select okay. Now, once this is done, you notice uh, there's going to be a shall I say a different skin color that is being applied to the character like this. Okay, probably does. Let's give it time to load up. So before that. The textures of the character might change, and one of the, uh, shall I say, the benefits of the of you using the basic form is probably if you actually uh, trying to import these characters into uh, probably you want to use it for a game. Okay, which does not require a detailed skin texture. You can use the basics, and probably for some videos. But if you actually want to use something like that shows details of the characters, then you need to use the advanced, which I will explain later. So for more you notice here, you can see uh, the character color is light. Yeah, on that studio we have the co uh, the color to be dark. All right. So I'm going to show you uh, how to fix this uh, error, this error message. Okay. That is error in a sense that this color of the skin is different, but the characters is the same. You notice the clothes are imported successfully, but the skin of the character is quite different from what we have in that studio. So let's see how to correct uh, this, just in case you run into this type of issue. All right. So I'm going to zoom the, the character to your view so that you can see and notice this, the skin character is different but the character looks alike, okay, the shape, the clothes, everything but does that the skin color is different. So select transformer, select CCTV plus, so we are trying to import the character again and fix that issue. So select test one. So let's give it a few time to load up. So like I said, this it this depend on the speed of your uh, system. So you have the basic and the advanced. So we're still making use of the basic method. So select basic again, and this is just for your own view. So let's select our uh, basic. Okay, next is to select, click on that. Now what we want to do is we want to assign the textures, the read textures to the character. So select generate textures. Okay. Now from here, what we could do is to, we want, since we want to generate the texture, let's create a texture file for it and tell character creator where to locate the texture file for this model with us uh, exported from that st studio all right so i'll name it test one as you can see
now that we've done that click on this folder the textures folder so locate where you save the where you exported the character to so i'm trying to locate where i actually exported that character to so that's what i'm populating so that should be in the document youtube tutorial so just click on it and so this is the textures that was exported from that studio and select select folder so in that folder you have all the exported uh, file I mean the skin okay you have everything exported there since we initiated that command from that uh, studio okay so now you just need to give it time to bake it and give us the real texture we actually want although there is an in-depth tutorial on how to uh, assign the name your texture file for the advanced uh, if you want to use the advanced method but like I said we in this uh, tutorial we're only using the basic method and I've actually showed you how to generate your textures file just in case you lose uh, the textures file and what really happened here is character creator does pick a texture from that studio or probably from character to make it look like this but which actually pick the shape but not the skin so what we have done is just tell the character creator where to get the source uh, skin textures from and work on that all right so let's give it a little time to bake the textures and do everything it's supposed to do Now, as you can see, the character has been imported successfully into Character Creator. And as you can see, it's the same textures when you compare it to the one on that studio. Okay, so probably just show you uh, the character himself and for you to just see. Trying to just zoom it so that you can have a look and see it is the character, okay? And as well, I will show you the character on that studio. So, probably I will decide to uh, split the screen so that you can compare and see the uh, character, okay? Trying to zoom this so that you can actually have a better view of it. Okay, so from what I'm doing here, you'll notice everything is uh, nice and it looks uh, great. Alright, although there are things still need to be adjusted, okay, from uh, this, but like I said, I just want to show you how to import the character from Dash into Character Creator. And from Character Creator, you can send it to... Uh, to iCloud and start your animation work over there. Alright, so in the next uh, tutorial, I will explain uh, in depth on how to make use of the. So from this level, you have it all, and this is all you need to do in order to export your character in the basic form into character creator from that studio then you can export it to iClone and start uh, performing your beautiful and outstanding animations so I'm going to explain more about uh, the texturing alright 
But before I go, I just want to show you something. Because we make use of the textures, I mean the basic form of importing the character, what we have here, what we have here is just the base map, opacity, the metallic and the roughness. Alright? Like I said, the base, the opacity, metallic and roughness. But once we make use of the advanced method, we have uh, the bump map added and I think other things that is the base opacity bump map metallic roughness will be added to it so guys if you find this video helpful uh, please give my video a thumbs up uh, like my videos and share with your friends and family so if you have any question please kindly leave your question in the comment section below you feel free to ask me any question on Character Creator or on iClone, likewise on Dash Studio. I will try my possible best to answer your questions as fast as I can. Alright guys, uh, happy I mean, knitting. See you in the next video. Bye for now. One love.